wildlife, including some of nature's most flamboyant show-offs. The spectacular birds of paradise. They come in all shapes and sizes, but share a common goal. They need to impress a mate. Some dance alone, others en masse. And dance competitions can be tense affairs. Japanese photographer Tadashi Shimada is on a quest to film these elusive extroverts and uncover the secret world of the birds that are designed to dance. second largest island on Earth. It's a patchwork of mountains and jungle. Forests stretch as far as the eye can see. Much of the land is shrouded in mist. The island's heavy rainfall, tropical forests and remote location have contributed to the development of a unique ecosystem. This is home to some of the world's most beautiful birds. The spectacular birds of paradise. Around 40 different species live here, and no two look alike. Dramatic displays and elaborate plumage are reserved for males only. But however flamboyant their feathers and footwork, they all share a common goal, to attract a mate. Japanese wildlife photographer Tadashi Shimada has been fascinated by birds of paradise for many years. He's visited New Guinea several times and now he's back hoping to discover more about these enigmatic birds. For Tadashi, this trip is extra special. He hopes to film many different species, but there's one above all he's looking for. The legendary Blue Bird of Paradise. It was a photograph of a blue bird which first sparked his interest in birds of paradise. He's dreamt of seeing one for years. This could be his chance to realize his dream. As his journey begins, Tadashi heads into the mountainous regions of the island's central highlands. A blanket of mist hangs over the hills. Warm air rising from the lowlands cools quickly, creating moisture which feeds the rainforest. The conditions create a unique environment. The cloud forest. Humidity can reach 90%. Beneath the canopy, it's much cooler. Trees are coated with thick layers of moss, nurtured by the moist air. Tadashi has come to the cloud forest in the hope of finding one bird in particular, a ribbon-tailed astrapia.
cacophony of calls grows louder as his eyes scan the trees. The deeper he ventures into the forest, the more it seems like he's going back in time. All sense of the modern world is left behind. Suddenly there's a flurry of movement in a distant tree. Spectacular tail feathers nearly a metre long waft in the breeze. It's a male ribbon-tailed astrapia, and it's even more striking than Tadashi imagined. It has the longest tail feathers in relation to body size of any bird in the world. Compared to most birds, birds of paradise are slow to mature. It can take males up to five years to develop their extravagant plumage. Such long tail feathers also have a tendency to get tangled up. Such an encumbered bird would be easy prey in many places but the Astrapia has few natural predators on the island. He can afford to wear what he wants to attract a mate. He even has a best side. His feathers appear to change colour, depending on the angle they're viewed from. But his crowning glory is the tail feathers which float behind him like a veil as he flies away. Tadashi heads deeper into the cloud forest. Most birds of paradise have a stage where they perform their courtship dances. Some display on the ground, others in the trees. Tadashi hopes to see where the ribbon-tailed Astrapia displays, and how. Oh. But he didn't expect to see this. A large flock of male ribbon-tails are gathered in a tree. More arrive all the time. They squabble and squawk as they fight over the best place to perch. There are at least ten crowding the branches already. Tadashi is intrigued why so many are attracted to this one tree. He's keen to get nearer, to try and find out, and to film the birds up close.
Unfortunately, the weather is against him. Rain sweeps in and brings mist with it. You can only watch as the tree fades from view. Early next day, the mist begins to clear and the forest comes to life. In New Guinea, the central highlands receive the largest amount of rainfall. It rains most afternoons, so morning is usually the best time for Tadashi to film. All he can do now is hope the Astrapia return. Luckily, they don't disappoint. The first arrivals perch nearby before heading across to their favorite tree. The strange noise of their wings rubbing together as they fly adds to the ethereal atmosphere. Male birds of paradise rely on their courtship displays to attract a mate. Some males gather together in groups called leks and display at the same time. Birds flip between branches to show off their tail feathers. They posture and preen as they get ready for the main event. Finally, their audience arrives. A female makes her way to the tree. It looks like she's more interested in food than male company. But her arrival causes a big stir and a dramatic reaction. One of the males starts to change shape before her eyes. He puffs himself up. and dances on the branch. It's all for the female's benefit, and he's not the only one keen to make an impression. All the males start to display. Tadashi has no doubt this tree is the site of a leg. Although competition is fierce, leks increase the male's chances of attracting a mate. But there can only be one winner. The birds do everything they can to be noticed. Fights break out over the best places to display. It's all part of the serious business of courtship. Dancers are long, noisy, and look exhausting. As the mist returns, the dancing birds disappear from view. 
but Tadashi is delighted. Not only has he seen a ribbon tailed a straight he's filmed their courtship dance. A week has passed since Tadashi arrived in New Guinea. The sun peers out between the clouds. As if on cue, plants burst into life. Tadashi continues his journey. He arrives at a small clearing where local people have felled trees to build homes. Tropical forests normally shut out sunlight. Clearings create a different environment. Bright light and warm sunshine encourage fruit trees to grow, which attract a host of wildlife. For Tadashi, it's a chance to see more of the birds he loves. But so many birds out in the open also attract predators. A Brahmani kite scours the forest for food. A crested bird of paradise looks for a place to hide. Its bright orange feathers easily give it away. A Stephanie's astrapia blends in more easily. Of all birds of paradise, Stephanie's astrapia live at the highest altitude and are rarely seen. Their tail feathers were once highly prized and their numbers decimated by hunters. A brown sicklebill isn't as rare, but it does stand out. It is one of the largest birds of paradise. This is a female and as her name suggests, her bill is bent like a sickle. It's the perfect shape for extracting food from hard to reach places. A male brown sickle bill sits nearby. His appearance is rather low key for a bird of paradise but what he lacks in looks, he makes up for in other ways. His courtship song sounds like a machine gun. It's purpose built to entice females and frighten rivals. This film taken by a local cameraman gives an insight into the Sickle Bill's courtship ritual. Hidden beneath the male's wings is a striking plumage which he only displays in the presence of a female. He stands tall and shakes frantically. It's a dramatic gesture and needs to be. Female birds of paradise are notoriously hard to please. The male pulls out all the stops. At full stretch, he's almost unrecognizable and it seems irresistible. For Tadashi, it's a golden opportunity. He's never found such a good place to film Birds of Paradise before. A 
after a week in New Guinea, Tadashi has filmed many stunning species and displays. Now he hopes to fulfill his ambition and film the bird which first inspired him, the blue bird of paradise. Golden opportunity. He's never found such a good place to film birds of paradise before. After a week in New Guinea, Tadashi has filmed many stunning species and displays. Now he hopes to fulfill his ambition and film the bird which first inspired him, the blue bird of paradise. Tadashi leaves the mist and mountains behind him and makes his way down to the lower levels of the island. According to local villagers, blue birds of paradise are sometimes seen here. Sure enough, he isn't kept waiting long. Perched high on a tree is a male blue bird of paradise. Tadashi is overjoyed. It's his first sighting of one in the wild. Tadashi refers to the branch as the male's song post. There's plenty to eat nearby too. From the front, he looks fairly inconspicuous. It's not until he turns to the side that it reveals his true beauty. Orange plumes and flowing tail feathers enhance his image. But he can't rely on good looks alone. He calls for a mate as well. In no time at all, he has company. A female is lured, either by his call or a chance to feed. She has the same body color, but she doesn't have decorative feathers. And she doesn't have any interest in him. Hopefully, he'll find romance somewhere else. For Tadashi, it's been a day he won't forget. At long last, he's seen a blue bird of paradise. Birds of paradise have fascinated people for centuries. They were first taken to Europe in the early 16th century by the Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan. Their feathers were highly sought by collectors 
and by the fashion industry. Today, hunting birds of paradise is banned, and they are protected by law. It's thought around 40 different species live here in New Guinea. And this tree is home to two of them, the greater and Regiana birds of paradise. Like the ribbon-tailed Astrapia, males of both species display in groups. Sometimes they all display together. Branches shake under the weight of gyrating males. Finally, a female enters the fray. Now the males really start to show off. A male greater bird of paradise tries to shine with some nimble moves. The female seems impressed. Mating is a brief affair, especially after such a build-up. But not all males like to share the limelight. Some prefer to go it alone, like the King of Saxony. He's crowned with two magnificent plumes, and they've attracted female attention. appearance has a sudden and dramatic effect. He seems to go into a frenzy. As if his moves weren't frantic enough, he sings as well. his best efforts, the female's just not interested. The male superb bird is another performer who likes the stage to himself. Superb birds of paradise are relatively small, but males need to make a big impression. There are an unusually low number of females, so competition is especially fierce. It's led to one of the most elaborate courtship displays in the bird world. As he dances, his wings make a sharp clicking sound. His display is designed to show his strength, stamina, and virility. Sadly, his dance partners aren't always impressed. Not all birds of paradise display in trees. The lack of natural ground predators means some feel safe to use the forest floor instead. Like the male, magnificent bird of paradise. They are so small, they are heard more often than they're seen. And they are sticklers for detail. This male's found a clearing, which might work as a stage, 
but he's not happy with it yet. If he's going to entice a female, it's vital it's right. He gets rid of anything that might hinder his performance. It's not only the forest floor which needs preparing. There's no point having a stage if his audience can't see it. Any potential obstructions are removed. Branches and twigs are stripped bare. just in the nick of time. The female is more conservatively dressed, like all female birds of paradise, and just as choosy. The audience settles and another show begins. She seems unsure, so he pulls out all the stops. Each twist and turn is carefully choreographed. Now he has her full attention. She scrutinizes his every move. His display gathers pace. But sadly for him, she's not convinced. He's lost his audience, but carries on dancing. It's all good practice. The reason why New Guinea's Birds of Paradise have developed such dramatic displays has intrigued people for years. The secret lies in the geography of the island. A huge mountain range runs along its spine. Its tallest peak is nearly 5,000 meters high. Humid air from the Pacific collides with the mountains, creating a huge amount of rainfall. New Guinea is one of the world's wettest places. A combination of heavy rain and tropical heat nurtures the rainforests and provides constant food all year round. Coupled with a low number of natural predators, it's created a relatively relaxing lifestyle for birds of paradise. It means they can concentrate on the more important things in life, like looking for love. Tadashi nears the end of his trip. He's filmed even more species than he hoped to, but one sight still eludes him, the courtship dance of the blue bird. Recent rainfall makes the last leg of his journey even harder. Most bluebirds of paradise live deep in the forest, and much of the ground is a quagmire. But he's definitely going in the right direction. He can hear a bluebird calling. In such dense growth, it's hard to tell where the call is coming from until he spots a flicker of movement. creeps closer, as quietly as he can. Just visible through the leaves, 
a male bluebird fans his feathers. He looks like he's preparing to display. Tadashi's dream could be tantalizingly close. Suddenly, something unexpected happens. It flies down to the forest floor. The bushes make it difficult for Tadashi to see exactly what's happening, but the bird is very busy. After half an hour of frantic activity, it disappears. When he's sure the blue bird has gone, Tadashi moves in for a closer look. The place which has preoccupied the bird is a small clearing. Bluebirds of Paradise are known to display in trees. This clearing on the forest floor suggests something else. Twigs have been stripped of leaves and the ground carefully tidied. Tadashi points out it looks like the stage that the magnificent bird of paradise prepared. He starts to wonder if blue birds of paradise use the trees and the ground when they display. If he's right, it would be a groundbreaking discovery. But if he's going to find out, he'll need to be patient and well camouflaged. All he can do now is wait. The day disappears and there's no more sight or sound of the bluebird. But Tadashi isn't giving up. Early next morning, he's back in the hide. It was worth the wait. The bluebird is back. He preens himself carefully and prepares to go to work. He starts to tidy up the dead leaves which have fallen overnight. Tadashi has little doubt that he is preparing his stage in readiness for a show. He shreds more leaves from branches and moves anything that might obscure his performance. This is the first time a blue bird of paradise has been filmed doing this. Not only has Tadashi fulfilled a lifelong ambition, it's an important breakthrough in understanding Blue Bird of Paradise courtship behavior.
the Bluebird puts the final touches to his stage and, like all good showmen, announces the show is about to start. His performance makes the blood rush to his head. He uses a branch like a tightrope and hangs like a bat above the stage. Spreading his wings reveals his spectacular plumage. His fine feathers shimmer in the sunlight. It's an enchanting display. And it's being judged. Now he really goes to town. He wafts his wings like a fan and calls seductively. His chest feathers shine a vivid blue and the black spot on his chest almost seems to glow. He points the spot towards the female and keeps gently wafting his wings. It's almost as if he's trying to hypnotize her. The more he moves, the closer she gets, and the more intensely she watches him. But despite his best efforts, it's not enough. She leaves him hanging mid-performance. And he can't quite believe it. It's back to square one for the blue bird. But for Tadashi, it's been a performance he won't forget. He's finally seen the courtship display of the Blue Bird of Paradise. And for Tadashi, that's a dream come true. The rainforests of New Guinea provide an idyllic home for some of the world's most flamboyant birds. The geography of the island, its tropical climate and lack of natural predators has allowed birds of paradise to develop spectacular plumage. And some of the most elaborate courtship displays ever seen. Japanese photographer Tadashi Shimada has seen the efforts birds of paradise make in their quest to find a mate. From dramatic mass performances in the trees to striking solo shows on the forest floor and some displays which simply defy description. Tadashi believes that there is still much to discover about the lives of these elusive extroverts, the birds which are designed to dance. <laughs> 